we, we've talked to somebody from your company before, and uh, he, had, he was kind of pushy. Yeah, I, I know how you feel. In fact, the first person that approached us with WFG was a little bit that way as well, so believe me. You know what I found out, though, as I really looked into the company a little bit more deeply, I found that these were really good people, and they make a, they make a major difference for the families that they see. What would you do if you were our company and you had someone running around being as pushy as that guy was? Well, I'd probably get rid of him, but uh, I mean, I'll give him some training. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, and I, I totally agree with you. I think what you're going to find out about our firm is that there's an awful lot of different kinds of people within our firm, but I think you'd agree with me that every company has good and bad involved with their company. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. You would. And I hope that you'll find out through the conversation that we'll have today that maybe my approach is a little bit different, but I think the most important thing is you discover the powerful solutions we'll have for the two of you here today, that I think the overriding belief you'll have when we're finished is that this is something you should move forward with and that it'll benefit your family and hopefully at the end of the day you'll like me. So does that make sense? Yes, it does. All right. I want you to notice what just happened there. When we got the objection, it would have been very easy for me to say, oh my gosh, and then to begin to defend that objection. I think it was important that it was a confirmation of what took place, that I gave a statement of fact, and then I asked a follow-up question. And then I let him answer me as to what he would have done in that particular situation, and then move forward with what I wanted to tell him, and then finish with a question to get confirmation and permission to move forward. It's important that you acknowledge the objection because if you don't, it'll be his overriding thought throughout the rest of the presentation. No matter what I'm saying, he's going back to that guy. Even though it's an illogical position to think that one person or what they've heard before makes a big difference. But you'll find if you'll just let them say it, if you'll confirm it and acknowledge it, begin to ask a question that makes some sense. And then what you notice was I was assumptive. Good closers, people that are good at persuading people are assumptive. So I assumptively moved forward, but asked permission to do so. I assumed a yes was coming, and he agreed with me. And you'll find, believe it or not, most of the time that that will be the case.